What up guys? Today I'm going to talk about how to implement diet breaks. So yesterday I talked about what diet breaks are and today I'm going to talk about how to successfully implement them. This is going to be a pretty short simple video. So the best way to implement a diet break is when you are dieting down right you're in a calorie deficit <clears throat> you're doing a lot of cardio you're on a very low calorie intake you know 1500 calories even lower and you stop losing weight you just stop losing fat your body has adjusted to the calorie deficit and now you're basically fucked what should you do because you can't lower calories any further right it's fucking you can go to zero calories right now you just can't decrease calories anymore so the way to combat this <clears throat> is do a diet break So, for example, you stop dieting, you were at 1500 calories, now you go up to about 2000. Increase it by 500 calories, that's going to be about maintenance, okay? <clears throat> and just eat like that for about two weeks. And after that, guys, I guarantee when you go back to your 1500 calorie deficit you're gonna lose a little more weight it's not gonna be a tremendous amount because you have already fucked up your hormones and body a lot <clears throat> but it's gonna help you you know if you only got a few pounds to lose maybe it's gonna do it for you okay if you got a lot of pounds to lose then you basically fucked up your cut you should do a reverse diet and just start cutting again later. <clears throat> you fucked yourself up. But if you have uh, just a few pounds to lose, a diet break can work for you. Now you can do diet breaks as much as you want, as much as you can. But if you're gonna lose weight and then you plateau again, you can maybe try a diet break again. You know, I can't tell you if it's going to work the second time, but maybe it will. It just depends how severe your body has, you know, adapted. <clears throat> but the first time you're going to do the diet break, it's going to definitely fucking work. Now, if you guys don't mind dieting for a very long amount of time, then... I read one study, they had this very special technique of implementing a diet break. So this is what you do. You get in a calorie deficit and you diet for two weeks. After that, you do a diet break at maintenance calories for two weeks. And then you go back to two weeks of cutting, two weeks of diet break, and you go on, off, on, off. And you're going to lose more fat that way. You're going to retain more muscle. But it's going to take twice as long. So it just depends on your lifestyle and your personal preference. If you don't want to do that shit, just do a two-week diet break. And you're going to see some more fat loss. Okay? Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video helped you out. Don't forget to like, leave a comment and definitely subscribe. Peace out guys.